Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start a very exciting topic around digital dentures. This is a kickoff of a four-part series around digital dentures and it will be evolving around Ivotion digital dentures. So imagine a doctor sending in just a scan, a digital scan of a denture with a wash impression. And he says, copy this, but I'm going to have a new integral surface. So what are you going to do in XOK? In 3Shape, it's fairly easy. 3Shape has a really nice workflow of creating a duplicate denture and a copy denture. In ExoCAD, it's a little bit more tricky, so I want to show you how to do that. So without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> In the order form, I'm selecting one tooth and full denture. Select one to one process. This is not Ivotion, this is not monolithic. Also, I'm gonna select milling because all the parts are getting held. Single arch, and we need to make sure that all the teeth are connected because it's gonna be one piece. You can select a shade if you like save out the order form and go into so after we imported the scan we need to clean it up a little bit therefore we're going to go into expert mode right click on the scan click edit mesh and clean up some free floating artifacts we can close the holes if you want but the main purpose is to isolate the palatal area to create kind of a mold to create kind of a model so i'm going to click at the outer line of the border, and then all the way around until the two points meet again. Then we're gonna invert the selection, and if we have some holes, we're gonna hold the shift button, circle the area, and it gets deselected. After this, we can delete the selected part, and we're gonna right-click on the mold, show triangle orientation, and invert triangle orientation to create a positive mold. For the model analysis, ExoCAD is requiring that we mark it on the antagonist. We don't have an antagonist. So what I did, I created this disk and you can download it on my Patreon page for free. We can import it as an antagonist and position it under the denture scan. We can use this scan for the markings for example, if we go to the model analysis, we can use it to define the occlusal plane. Three points, just by clicking on these little knobs, we can use it to define the molar positions, and use it to define the first premolar positions, and we can use it to define midline. After we finished the model analysis, we can then select a tooth mold and what I'm doing here, I'm selecting one that's really close to the existing teeth in the denture. Of course, we cut out the pre-up, so we need to import up a new, we need to import a new pre-up. Then in chain mode, what I usually do is I'm gonna try to align it as close to the denture teeth as possible. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but it helps with the adaptation of the tooth mold. But what we want to focus on primarily is the anterior 6 to 11 to freshen up this look on the denture. And when we're going to go to adapt to pre-up scan, what we're going to select first is exclude selected parts. And under the menu, we're going to select mark by click. Then we're going to focus only on the posterior teeth. If we have some area, we're going to click mark by paint and add the selected part. Then we can adapt it and you can see only the posteriors are getting adapted and not the anterior. We can modify them a little bit in free form, but then we're going to focus on the actual outer line. We're going to click the lines directly on the border. We're not going to go into the crest because then we're going to have some missing parts. So we're going to, going to see how the dentures are aligning and marking the points right where the denture is going to finish. 
click next, and then we're going to focus on the connectors. The connectors shouldn't have any interference with the occlusion because we don't have any antagonists. And then we can focus on the design of the gingival. Therefore, I'm going to select the small brush and then click on the settings, medium settings, go in between the teeth of the gingival and create kind of an inverted Y form to design the root form. I'm, I'm going to do this between all the teeth and then you can smoothen it out. You don't have to. If you like this intense look of the root structure, you can leave it like this or you can smooth it out with the smoothing tool. I'm going to do a light smoothing here. But now I'm going to separate the teeth from the base so I can mill the base and the teeth separately. So I can mill the teeth in the tooth color and I can mill the gingival in a gingival color that the patient desires. The outcome is really easy. It's a very easy workflow. It's not complicated. Once you get used to the entire workflow, it's actually a fun product to make. Dentists will love it. And your technicians will have a lot of fun designing those. And you can mill those two parts in any milling machine that mills PMMA. But I recommend the PM7 from Ivoclar. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you like the content so far that I'm making, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and get updated on all future videos. If you want to support the channel, I have a link in the description to my Patreon page. Until then, stay tuned.